In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the SRT up and running for RE8 Village speedruns. You can see the information that it's going to display at the top left of my screen. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is join the RE Village Discord, which will provide us with all the links we need for the downloads. So I already have Discord open, which I would recommend. And when you have Discord open, go to speedrun.com and look for Resident Evil Village. Once you're here, just click the Discord link. You get something like this popped up, and you can just click Continue to Discord. And once you click that link, it should take you uh, straight to the Discord. And once you're in here, we're going to look for SRT development. Click this channel. Now, if you join this and you're all the way scrolled at the bottom automatically or just somewhere in the middle, the easiest thing to do is click pinned messages. And there's a jump feature here. You can see that pops up with each thing that was posted. Video Game Roulette has a video here if you want to watch his. Explains how to do the same thing. What we're going to go to here is this section where he provides all of the links and a small explanation on how to get everything going. So I'm going to click jump so I can see a bigger version of it and then expand it. The first thing we're going to click is for .NET Core. So click this link. You can see the ones required here have required next to them. If you don't already have this, I do already have this, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the process anyway. My downloads are set to show up here. So once that's done, you can click this. And my options don't have install since I already have it, but just go through this whole process after you click install. The next required part requires that you have 7-zip. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get 7-zip. So go to your browser. You can probably just click the download, but I clicked here and then I selected the 64-bit version right here. And click download. Save. And we're going to check our downloads. And then it should look something like this. So go through that installation process. Now, once you have 7-zip installed, you can go to the second required link here. Save. Check our downloads. Now when this window pops up, you can go to open with and do a drop down and select other. And then we need to browse for 7-zip. Mine is located under program files. So we're going to go to 7-zip filter. And the one you want to use is 7-zip file manager, which is labeled 7ZFM. So click this. You can double click or open. And then OK it. And then this window is going to pop up for you. Now at this point, we need to make a folder to drop everything into. So what I'm going to do is pull open File Explorer. And I'm going to go to my documents. You can go to desktop or whatever you want. And here, for tutorial purposes, I'm going to make a folder called Tutorial. You can label it SRT, RE Village SRT, whatever. I'm going to drill down into Tutorial. And then from the 7-zip window, I'm going to select, you can either control all or just drag everything like this. And we're going to throw all this into our tutorial folder so like this. And then you can just simply close out a 7-zip at this point. And now next step is to drill down into plugins. Then we're going to go to our next required link, which is here, just under the host app. You have the plugin provider for RE8. So click this. And you can just click save. This one might unzip automatically instead of using 7-zip. So click here. And we have an option to extract this. So I'm going to click extract all here. And we're going to browse to the folder we just made. So we go to documents. And I find my tutorial folder, plugins. I want to extract to this folder here. We're going to select folder. 
and click extract. And then you can close out of this window, this one ex we extracted from. And now we have a second folder here, the plugin provider. The next part of this is not a required plugin, but I think it's really nice, which is the DirectX overlay, which is exactly how it was shown at the very beginning of this video at the top left of my screen. It's very clean and works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and show how to get that. So click this and we save, go to our downloads, this, and the same thing as last time, we're going to extract all. And we're going to browse and it already has the one selected from the previous time. So we can just hit select folder and extract. And now let's close the other window that we extracted from. And now we have three folders here. Now, since I already had all this done, I went ahead and deleted the tutorial folder and everything I just downloaded because I already have it here in the RE village SRT. So you can ignore this part. Just pretend I'm still in the tutorial folder. And the next thing we want to do is actually boot up RE8. I'm just going to click on Steam here. I try to run everything as admin, because why not? Now we go to library and go to our game and click play. Now that we have RE8 running, we're going to go over to our file explorer again. And we're going to go back to our main folder that we made, which could still be labeled tutorial, doesn't matter. And we're going to go down to SRT host 64. It could have a .exe here. Mine just sh simply shows application. So we double click this. And this should pop up. And everything processed normally. I'm going to minimize this. We're going to go back. So this is what this looks like, just so you can see. I even have the direct X overlay and everything successfully started. Yada, yada. Everything looks fine. Now let's go back to our game. You can see it pop up here at the top left. Now, this part may look a little bigger than yours when you first get it going and that's because I modified the config file to go from 0.75 scaling to 1 just so I could see things a little clearer when your health populates it'll be up at the top and then when the boss health populates it should be just below here so let's go ahead and try and load a save just to show what it looks like pay attention to the cutscene playing at the top left of the SRT once you click pick up here, it goes to true, and that's how you know you can hit escape and then skip through it. Looks like your outside matches your inside. Which... There we go. There's the HP. Let's just show what happens when we shoot her. See, it updates pretty quickly. The last thing I wanted to show was how to change the UI scaling for the direct X overlay. So what you need to do is actually quit out of the game. Just exit completely. And now we're gonna go back here. Now, once you've exited, you can go to the plugins folder and look for the direct X overlay folder here. And a config file should have populated now, now that you started the game, get everything going, and then you exit, it populates this file. You can open up this. Now the scaling factor will probably be labeled 0.75 or 0 0.75, and you can just up the scaling as you see fit. I just went to one and it was Plenty big for me. Maybe even a touch bigger would be fine as well. But then you just, once you change that, just save it. And next time you boot up RE8, everything's up and running. It should be a little bit bigger for you. But that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.
Thanks for watching.